Hey kids! Today we'll be learning about echinoderms. Are you ready? Let's begin! Echinoderms are a phylum of marine animals and are invertebrates. They include starfish, brittle stars, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and their relatives. Each echinoderm has a classification. Asteroidea, Opioidea, Echinoidea, Holothuroidea, and Crinoidea. These are the sea lilies and feather stars. Let's start with a starfish. Starfish do not have a brain. They do have a system of nerves and nerve plexus below their skin that perform the function of a nervous system. Most starfish have spiny skin and five arms, but some of the specials can have up to 50 arms. There are over 2,000 different species of starfish, and they are all marine. They cannot be found in freshwater lakes or rivers. A starfish moves by pulling itself along on the sucker-like tube feet underneath its arms. These strong feet also enable the starfish to force open the shells of mollusks such as mussels or oysters. The starfish pushes its stomach out through its mouth and into the shell to digest the mollusk. Starfish have tiny eye spots on the tip of their arms. This allows them to tell the difference between dark and bright. They use these eye spots to detect moving objects such as prey and potential threats. They have an incredible ability to regenerate. If a starfish was attacked by a predator and a single arm was left, it can regenerate itself back to full form. If the starfish is cut in half, it will grow into two different starfish. Next would be brittle stars. Brittle stars are marine animals that are closely related to starfish. They have five serpent-like arms attached to a distinct disc in the center of the body. When you pick up a brittle star, their arm may fall off. This is often used as a defense to escape from predators. Brittle stars are known as the fastest echinoderms. They use their highly flexible arms to move across the ocean floor. The Sea Urchin Sea urchins don't have bones supporting its body. Instead, it has a tough shell called a test. Its main defense is its sharp spines, and some of them are poisonous. Sea urchins move around on hundreds of sticky tube feet that allow them to crawl on rocks and sand. Sea urchins don't have brains or eyes, but they can detect light and sense nearby predators. The Sea Cucumber The sea cucumber's mouth is surrounded by 10 or more tentacles that are used for eating or burrowing. Some expel a sticky substance that can trap or confuse an enemy, others produce a toxin that can kill small animals. The anal opening is used for both breathing and discharging waste. Many sea cucumbers can expel their internal organs through the anus and grow new ones. Sea cucumbers are harvested to produce many products, including medicines, shampoo, and toothpaste. Let's move on to the sea lilies and feather stars. Sea lilies and feather stars may look the same, but they have some differences. 
Sea lilies have stalks, while feather stars don't. This means that the feather stars can move from one place to another. They look like plants, but they are not. Most sea lilies live in deep waters. Finally, let's go over the features of echinoderms. They have a skeleton of plates. The plates are usually spiny, and the skeleton is covered outside and in by a layer of skin. A water vascular system. This is an internal system of tubes and bladders filled with water. Tube feet. The tube feet poke out from the skeleton and are used in walking, respiration, and feeding. They are entirely marine. And that is all for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed learning about echinoderms. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!